Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some fountain pen ink swatches and I'm really excited about it. But I'm also very nervous because it's my first time doing this. So we're going to be working in my Techo Han A6 Hobonichi. I'm really excited about this planner because I saw this online and I just fell in love with the artwork on the cover. So though this is dated for 2024, that's not how I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for my ink journal going forward. Now it is an A6, so it's quite tiny, as you can see, compared to the size of my hand but I work in small planners all the time currently my current planning situation is in a pocket rings so I'm used to a smaller size I'm going to show you how I'm currently using this planner I just recently received it so there's nothing decorated inside of it right now I have the beginning part of this clip together because I'm really unsure how I'm going to use these front pages here Maybe as like an ink journal, as I purchase inks, I'll write them in and it'll be like an ongoing list of all my inks. I will be decorating this here. Just haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Most likely with washi tape and stickers and something really interesting here that will introduce it as my ink swatch book or my ink journal. Then as far as the months go, I'm going to be just doing the color families and this is going to be just for me so that I reference back to this part where there won't be any writing samples. We'll just have like ink swatches of each of the colors in the boxes. So here's the first section. What I'm going to do with these sections here is we're just going to go along. I'm going to do my ink hauls and ink swatches from here going forward. There's not going to be any specific order to anything. I'm just going to go for it. I've named this first session for swatching first inks because these are literally the first inks that I have purchased once I fell down the fountain pen rabbit hole. I will say that a couple of these inks I purchased even before I owned my first pen. Now since this, I have purchased two other ink hauls, but I'll do those in future videos. For now, these are my very first inks and my very first swatches. So let's get into this. The first thing I want to do is I just want to cover up this January part. Since I'm not using this as a dated type of planner, I want to cover that up. I'm going to use this washi tape here that I purchased on Amazon. It's just a really basic one. I'm just going to put that down here to cover that up a little bit. And I'll show you why I'm doing that because I'm going to be putting a date stamp over that. And I don't want that January 1st kind of thing to bleed through. I'm going to be using my Maker ID. I'm just going to power this on and I'm just going to hit the date button because that's all I want to start with. I want to start with the date so that we can remember when we go back on this swatching session that these were my first inks and the date that that occurred. So I'm just going to peel that off and I'm going to place that right here and that's perfect. Really love that. Okay, and then I labeled this first inks. I used my Lamy Safari with the medium sized nib. I have a video on my unboxing of this and I'm just using my Diarctamentus Archive ink in black. I, th I, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to say that word correctly. <laughs> It's, it's always a struggle for me. So I use that in black and I just named this first inks because that's exactly what this is. I have my swatching pens out. I have a brass Kakamori nib with the Sakura wood handle and I have a glass swatching pen. I, I really like to use the end of this for swatching. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. And then I like to do some writing samples with both of these just to show the difference between the two. So let's get into this. The first ink that we're going to swatch today is from Taranishi Chemical Industries. It's Opera Rose. I was totally enabled by Karina Loves to Plan to purchase this ink. I watched a video where she swatched 
watched it and I absolutely fell in love with it. I love her channel so much. I'll put her name up here and I'll also link her channel below in my description box. She is amazing to watch. I love all of her ink swatching videos. So I seen this one swatch and I just had to have it. This box is absolutely beautiful. I usually don't fangirl over boxes, but this one, I mean, it's, it's lovely. The way they did these boxes is really impressive. And they're gorgeous inside as well. I've never seen such fancy boxes before. Look at how this unfolds. Really amazing. And this is the bottle itself and it is gorgeous. It comes with a little swatch card and I have already done that. So I'm just gonna take that off. It makes it easier to open. And here's a close up of the bottle and it's quite gorgeous. This size here is, let's see. This is a 40 mil size bottle and it's quite large. So this is the first one we're going to swatch. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna just put a piece of washi tape down as like kind of like a buffer so that I go, don't go past it. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm not exactly sure how I wanna do this yet, so we're just gonna kinda of go for it. We're gonna just let it happen as it happens. Like I said, this is the first time I'm ink swatching, so yeah, I'm a little nervous. So here's the bottle. I'm just gonna give it a light turn, not shake it too much to cause too many bubbles. And we're gonna dip in. I tend to like this method the best, not sure why. And we're gonna go right here. Oh wow, this is so gorgeous. Every time I see this, it just makes me so happy. I really love this color so much. It's so hard to really decipher it. At times when I look at it, it looks brown. And at other times when I look at it, it looks pink. Now we're gonna wait for it to dry down because it totally changes as it dries down. So I'm gonna do some writing on the side here. I'm just gonna dip my pen in. I don't know if that's too much. This is a first time for me, so bear with me. And we're just gonna write the name of the ink and the color. This is, oops, me a little bit more. I'm learning. I figure I'll get that right consistency eventually. And this is Taranishi. chemical and it is opera rose. I'm going to do some S's or swirlies or whatever you call them. Yeah, that is completely beautiful. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so that you can get a better look. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Now I'm gonna give this Kakamori nib a try. I'm a little nervous about this one too, I'm not gonna lie. I figure when I look back on this video, later on in my fountain pen journey, I'll probably laugh at myself at how scared I was to do this. <laughs> not sure how much ink to put on this, but we're gonna try like a fatter line. Oh yeah, that's perfect, and a thinner line. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So that makes me happy. The first swatch is down. And like I said, we're gonna give it a little chance to dry because this one is such an interesting ink. It The properties of it change so much. It goes from like a brownish color to a dusty pink color. It's probably, I'm just so obsessed with it lately. I want to be able to fit everything in the book, so we're going to just put that little bumper piece right there. It just helps me know not to go beyond that point. Let's cap this up before I make a huge mess. I've already done that once, and it wasn't fun. Okay, the next one we're going to be doing is also from Taranishi Chemical Industry, and this is Nostalgic Honey. I was also enabled to purchase this one as well, also from Karina. <laughs> I need to stop watching her channel. I'm going to be poor. <laughs> this bottle is so gorgeous. I love it. It has the guitar gold star little label on the top. 
really, really pretty. First, let me take this off because I have a feeling that's an accident waiting to happen. So we're gonna just take that off. And this is the next one I'm going to be swatching. I'm gonna stick with um, dipping in the end of my glass pen because I'm really liking that a lot. Okay, let's get a little ink on there and we're gonna do the same thing here. Oh, this is beautiful, I love this. Just gonna do a couple of dots and try and get a little bit more on the end to see like what kind of shading properties this has. Really, really pretty. Let's do a little bit of writing as well. I'm just gonna dip my pen in. I'm kind of trying to get the feel of how much ink to put on the actual glass pen. So we're gonna do, gonna have to do that again. Different angle maybe. Everybody makes it look so easy. Me, struggling. <laughs> okay, we got Terrani Sheep, Chemical. This one is Nostalgic. Honey. I'm gonna do some S's. Oh yeah, that's really, 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 really pretty. Next, I'm gonna take my Kak and Mori nib and see what I can do with that. I'm gonna try to lay down a thicker line. Okay, not as thick as I wanted it, so we're gonna do it again. And a thinner line. Oh boy, I'm struggling. You guys can laugh at me now. One day I'll have this down. I'll look back on this and laugh at myself. Like I said, too funny. Okay, so that went down really good. Now, one thing I have noticed with the upper rows is I got a little bit of feathering and bleeding towards the end of this. And I'm not sure if it's because the ink was wet or if I overdid that area with my swatch. But I can say that I wrote with the opera rose in my Hobonichi. I used my Hello Kitty and Caveco collab pen in a fine. And here is the writing in my Hobonichi Weeks with the Opera Rose and I had no bleeding, no problem whatsoever. So that was probably just my swatch. Okay, I'm gonna cap this one up and we're gonna move on to the next one. Just gonna move this down lower. And put it right about there. Okay, the next one we're going to be swatching is the Sherwood Green from Diamine. Now, I will be honest, I probably should not have bought this bottle. It is humongous. It is an 80 mil bottle. Like, that is wild. I don't think I'll use this color enough to justify the size of this bottle. So this was a learning experience being new of not to do this again. And this was the one that I accidentally spilled. <laughs> and I've been nervous to use it since because it was quite the mess and quite the cleanup that I had to do. So we're going to swatch this one next. I'm just going to, oh, it is beautiful though, I have to say. It really makes me happy when I see it. I'm going to put just down a little bit more on this edge because this has a beautiful red sheen to it and I'm hoping that shows up on the swatch. Okay, I'm just gonna load up my glass nib again. Let's see if we can move over a little bit so you guys can see that. I'm kind of trying to figure out the right amount to put on this glass nib pen. Okay, this one here is Diamine. And it is in the Sherwood Green. Gonna do some 
S's. Really pretty, pretty green. I like that a lot. Okay, now next I'm going to go in with the Kakamori. This nib gets me nervous. <laughs> I feel like I either overdo it or underdo it, one or the other. We're going to try for a thicker line, and then we're going to go for a thinner line. And that went down pretty nicely, so I'm happy with it. I'm going to just clean off my nib. And let's cap this up before we have another accident because the one I had was quite major. <laughs> I'm going to move down my little tape and get it right about there. And so far they're drying really nicely. We'll go over them once they're dried down completely. Okay, the next one I'm going to swatch is Sailor's Kitsune Yuri, I think that's the proper way to say it. I was also enabled by Karina Plans on this one as well. And I'm so glad I bought a full bottle of it because it's gorgeous. I really, really love it. So let's take that one out. Here it is right here. And on this one, we have a 20 mil bottle. Really happy I have the full size bottle of that. Let's give that an open. We're going to swatch this the same way. I feel most comfortable doing my swatches with the end of the glass pen like this. I've tried different methods and, oh wow, well, this one's pretty, and haven't had a lot of luck with it. I'm just going to put a couple of dots down, a little darker. See if I can get some more shading in there with that. Okay, perfect dip pen time. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of it, I think. <laughs> it's the first time I've used this, so kind of just trying to make it work. So we have Sailor. And this is Kitsune Bury. I think I'm saying that right. Now this ink does feel a little drier than the others. I could be wrong. I'm still learning my properties. And we're going to do some S's. Yeah, really nice. This one is also a really bizarre kind of color ink. At sometimes I look at it, I see like a brownish color and other times I look at it and I catch pinks in it, like a really subtle dusty kind of pink. It's really, really pretty and I love it. Oh, sorry. Gotta reopen that because we gonna dip in the Kakamori nib. Don't know if that's enough. We're going to find out right now. Yep, it sure is. And then I want to do one thinner line. There we go. Not so bad. Okay, we only have one ink left. We're going to put it down here. And I did get a little crazy with this swatch here with this dot right there. So I'm going to let that dry. And then we're going to put the last swatch right here. Now this one is just your basic. This is the DR Dementis, which I can never say, archive ink in black. But I do want to have a swatch of it because I will be swatching other black inks. I'm kind of deciding on what my go-to black ink is going to be. And I have not decided that yet. So. Ooh, wow, that's really black. Okay, gonna come right here, swatch away. Perfect. Let's dip the pen in.
I can't say this, so I most definitely can't spell it without looking. So this is diatramentus. And it is the archive black. And I'm noticing that I was tipping the swatch pen too much forward this way and I wasn't getting a good enough impression. So I'm learning definitely as we go along. We're going to do some S's. Yeah, this is a really pretty black. Nothing special about it. Next, I'm going to do my lines. See if I get enough on there. I'm going to do one thicker line and one thinner line. Got to get that thin line down. There we go. That's better. Okay, let's cap this up. And those are all of my first inks. I know this might have been painful for some of you because I don't know how to use the swatching pens but I was kind of getting the hang of it as I went along. I'm going to give these a few minutes to dry, especially this here, the Kitson Beauty. I got a little crazy with the dots, so I will be back once this is dry. Okay, this is now dry, or as dry as I'm going to be able to get it for right now, and I'm really happy with these swatches. So let's go back over Opera Rose. Opera Rose is gorgeous. As you can see, it has nice shading properties. There's no shimmer. Actually, none of these are shimmer inks. I figured I'd wait on the shimmer inks. I'll work up to those. But this is a beautiful color now that it has dried down. Like I said, it's a really strange color. If you compare it to brown, Browns, it will look brown, but if you bring it towards a pink color, it'll be pink. Here is the Nostalgic Honey from Tiranishi Chemical Industry as well. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful shading property to it. This is where I applied the ink a little heavier and on the dots as well. And you can see that they are darker. Then as far as the Diamai Sherwood Green, this here has a beautiful like reddish sheen. It's hard to see in in my sample I'll try to it doesn't really show up in the writing as much but I definitely see it in the swatch right there and then underneath that we have sailors kits on Bury, and actually I need to finish writing that out because I only put kits on I forgot the Bury, <laughs> so I will go back and add that but this is a gorgeous color I want to say it reminds me of like a mushroom color with a touch of pink inside of it sometimes when I look at it it has more of a beige property and other times when I look at it it has more of a pink property but as you can see the writing sample it's absolutely gorgeous and I love it and then down at the bottom is your basic black my archive black ink I just wanted to do swatch of it so that is everything guys I hope you enjoyed this like I said this was a little bit of a hot mess a little bit of a train wreck and possibly a little painful from you more experienced swatchers out there but this was my first time and I'm happy with how it came out and I'm really excited that I broke in my ink swatch journal. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave comments below. I am open to all kinds of constructive criticism so let me have it in the comments. I'm totally okay with that. I am learning and if there's something that I did wrong just let me know and it'll help me with my future swatching videos and definitely subscribe because we'll be doing more inks. I just got in a haul from Ferris Wheel Press. I want to swatch those inks next so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys. Bye!